Hey, Pastor Scott here at the Weekly Word. Uh, We're looking at a passage in uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and we're calling today, You Belong. And we're just going to read this passage, and then I'm going to ask us two questions, and and I'm going to pray that the Lord speaks to us, the Holy Spirit speaks to us, or enlightens us, or quickens to us what He wants us to do with this. So the author writes, Work at living in peace with everyone, and work at living a holy life. For those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Make sure that no one is immoral or godless like Esau, who traded his birthright as a firstborn son for a single meal. So he's telling us there um, that we got to work at things, uh, but he's also really telling us, you belong to others who follow Jesus, and, and they belong to you. And we do this life together. We're dependent on one another. So my question is, what's God saying to you? When it comes to working at or, or looking after each other or making sure that no one else falls, um, what, what's God saying to you that you need to maybe pick up and go do speak into someone's life, encourage someone, come alongside some, alongside someone, speak a harsh word, maybe a harder word than normal, or maybe just be an encouraging uh, word to them that walks with them through something. So what's God saying to you, and then what are you going to do about it? Um, that's what we're doing this whole month. We're reading a passage, we're seeing what God's saying to us, and then we're asking, hey, Holy Spirit, what do you have to say to me? and uh, help me to to respond to you. So let's pray. Lord, I just pray that uh, for everyone listening right now who who calls Jesus Lord and Savior, who who follows Jesus every day as as King, uh, would would stop for a moment and just say, Lord, when it comes to belonging to others who follow you and when it comes to others being a part of my life, uh, what do you say into me? What do I need to do? Do I need to be open and vulnerable and tell them what I'm, where I'm struggling, be real with someone. I don't need to go to someone and, and speak into their life or walk through something hard with them. What is it you're saying to me? Um, and then we would ask ourselves very openly and honestly, what am I going to do about it? Am I going to hear and, and, and listen, take that in, and then, and then walk out in obedience? Or, or am I going to ignore the Spirit of the living God in me. So uh, would you speak to us? Holy Spirit, would you lead us? Would you illuminate truth or reveal something to us? And then would you give us that that strength, um, that courage to walk out whatever you call us to do? So that's my encouragement to you. You belong to others. Others belong to you. Uh, we're dependent on one another. we got to rely on each other to do this life. It's how God made it. So... So take some time, seek the Lord, ask Him, and then respond.